All right, here we go. Michael Jai White back in the building again. Vlad TV. All right, here we go. Michael Jai White, welcome back. That's the way DJ Vlad always introduces his guests. He always says, here we go. It is the truth. All right, but anyways, Mark Antimate back in the building again with another episode of Gentleman Masterclass. I think at this point in time, I got more Moonswatch videos uploaded to YouTube than any other YouTuber. It is the truth. And today we're going to be talking about, guess what? None other than Moonswatch again. So at this point in time, I own three moon swatches, but when it comes to the video content covering the moon swatches, I got even more than that. I just pretty much lost count. Wristwatch check the first moon swatch that I bought and the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Mission to Mars. I put it on this NATO strap that I really don't like the color of. The strap doesn't go with the watch at all, but I just never took it off of this strap, so to speak, as of yet, but I will eventually and I'll put it on a rubber, but anyways, that's what it is. So, the mission to Mars. Right here in Tokyo, Japan, I paid 36,000 yen, 36,300 Japanese yen. The next moon swatch I bought was the Mission to the Moon Moonshine Gold. Now, this is the one with the clean gold hand but the pink loom, and I think out of all of them that has been released so far, that this is the absolute best of the bunch. And this one, being that it's more premium, that it comes out once a month, you can see the price went up by 3,300 Japanese yen. So the price on this one is 39,600 Japanese yen. Now, I got the one from today. This is today's release, and this is a today video, as long as you're catching it live. This is the Mission to the Moon. This is the Strawberry Moon, released on July 3rd. And if I could pull my receipt out of the bag for this one, this one costs 42,900 Japanese yen, so the price jump it has jumped up an extra 3,300 Japanese yen. So progressively, it's just getting more and more expensive. And I want to know why that is. I Because I, I definitely think for today's watch, I think I've been overcharged. But it is what it is. All right. So this one is roughly 300 US dollars. I'll tell you guys what. If you're looking for it or you really need it, if you're inside of Japan... I want you to double this money up. You give me 80,000 yen and I'll sell you this watch. Or if you're inside the United States, you pay me in U.S. dollars. You give me 600 USD. This thing is yours. I'll have it shipped to you. It's not going to be worn. I'm only showing it off on this video. But this thing is essentially yours if you want it. So here goes the unboxing. You take off the slip cover. Just like the previous box, well, just like all of the boxes, you have this origami style type box that folds open. You got your certificate or full moon production certificate of authenticity here. What does this say? This says the Omega Moonshine Gold Seconds Hand of this bioceramic moon swatch mission to the moon was produced during the strawberry moon of June 2023. You guys could see that written there. Let's go ahead and close that up. On the right hand side, you have your swatch instruction manual, which is quite thick. Let's go ahead and slide that back inside of there. All right, hang tight, because I want to put everything back inside of this box the way that I got it out with no obstructions, no bends, none of that stuff. I need it looking beautiful. All right, so here we go. On the left-hand side here, you got your pamphlet that's showing off all the other moon swatches, and you got your warranty. As you can see, mine is stamped July 3rd, 2023, and it says pop-up store at the Nicholas G. Hayek building in Ginza, Tokyo. But it says that in Japanese, and I got the reference number down there at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide these things back inside of here. 
Because like I said, I'm trying to sell this watch in pristine order just how it is. Just to show you that everything is working. There is a plastic cover that is protecting the screen and I'm going to leave that on there. You go ahead and press the pusher. You can see that it, the second hand, not the second hand, the chronograph hand is ticking away like, like seconds though. Press it once to stop it. And you press the button down here to reset. So there you go. You got all these little strawberry hands on there. And that is essentially the watch. Now, out of all of these watches, I can't say how I really feel about this strawberry moon watch. I just wish they would stop obstructing the gold with all of the paint that they put on it. If they're going to paint anything, just continue to paint the the uh, little hour, sorry, the loom drop that's inside the middle of the chronograph hand. I would appreciate if they do that more often than just paint the whole hand itself. All in all, it's a pretty good watch. You could give it to your lady. I think she'll enjoy it because this is something that'll be very playful, something that a lady would like. Again, this is Strawberry Moon, 42,900 Japanese yen. If you're buying it from me, that's 80,000 Japanese yen or 600 USD, and it's yours. And there should be enough B-roll footage sliced and spliced inside of this video and enough pictures to entice you to make you feel good about the product that you're looking at. I hope you got enough of it. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Again, I got mine in Tokyo, Japan. This is the second place that it's released in the world. The first being Australia and uh, the rest of the world. I guess you guys are going to get yours soon. All right. I thank you for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside of the world. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out.